Okay, you ready? All right, so number one, uh, you are asked to find the next uh, term in the sequence, and this one should be fairly straightforward. 220, 200, 2,000. Uh, what comes next? 20,000, and what's the pattern that you're doing each time? 200,000. Well, what is the, not what's the next one at, right, you're just multiplying by 10 each time, okay? So, uh, no mysteries there. So that one was one where you were multiplying by the same number. Uh, number two is a little bit trickier. Let me get the numbers up here before you shout out the answers. Okay, so from two to five, you went up by three, and then you went up by five, then by seven, then by nine, then by 11. So now you'll go up by 13, good. And so your next number will be 50, awesome. All right, and then this one, uh, Reed didn't like very much yesterday. Oh, yeah, this one was easy. Yeah. It's easy if you see it, but if you don't, it's really hard to find because you're not uh, multiplying by the same thing each time, and you're not uh, going up in a way that has a pattern either. This is plus three then that is uh, plus two, so it's actually going up by less, and then this goes up by more. Uh, so it's confusing to try and find a pattern by trying to multiply, divide, or add, or subtract each uh, time. Lizzie, what is the secret? What are we looking for? Right, this is uh, called the Fibonacci sequence. I don't know how to spell Fibonacci, but probably you guys don't either, so you won't know. A-C-C-I. A-C-C-I, thank you. Um, and this is uh, a sequence that a gentleman, an Italian gentleman named Fibonacci uh, sort of came up with a long time ago. Um, and it actually has some fascinating applications that maybe on some Friday we can do some things with this. It comes up in nature a lot, it comes up in art, um, geometry, things like that, yes. Oh, I was trying to figure out, the numbers that, those ones go up by, and then Right, and so you can see if we kept doing this, hey, Byron, if we kept doing this, this one up by uh, three, then two, then five, then seven, and then the next one is up by uh, 12. And so what Lauren is noticing is that there's a relationship between how the numbers are going up and the numbers in the pattern themselves. So this one up by two and the number before that was two. This one up by five, the number before that was five, and so forth. So how would you describe that pattern? Go ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so you said, right, so you said if this one up by 12, then the next one would go up by 19, and then the next one would go up by what? 31, good, yeah. Oh, they, oh, because this is, uh, right, because it just keeps continuing and loops around. Okay, so the next number would be uh, 81. Yeah, so the short way that you can describe that is that the 7 comes from, page, the 7 comes from adding the 2 and the 5 together. The 12 comes from adding the 5 and the 7 together. The 19 comes from adding the 7 and the 12 together and so forth. So each next term is the sum of the previous two numbers, which is not anything that we've talked about before, so if you didn't get that, um, that's not surprising, uh, but it's um, just kind of an interesting thing that you can do, okay? All right, then number four, we started with a uh, one by two block here, and then made it into a little L-shaped block that is uh, one by three. So what were we doing with the width of this? What happened to the width? Adding one more. So our next one should have three blocks in front. Okay. And then what happened to the, uh, the depth of it, I guess? Also added one. So this one had one, two, three. So now that's going to go up to be one, two, three, four. Okay, and then you can fill in the rest if you wanted to, but it's not art class, so as long as I can sort of see that you have the general idea, then 
says you're okay. All right. So that's the missing piece. And you can see that fits into the next one as well, um, which is four by five. So you're just adding one to each dimension each time. Okay, number five, same deal with circles. So we are starting out with a regular circle with a single line through it. And then you go to a regular circle with two intersecting lines in it. So what do you think comes next? Circle. A circle with three intersecting lines in it. And I think that there is something special about this because if you look at the next one in the pattern, what did they do with the intersecting lines? Right, they colored in the areas where they crossed. Um, so I'm guessing that you're supposed to do that with these two. So right here, right here, and right here is colored. So we probably want to color in that little intersection point. Okay. All right, and then the last two were using the uh, patterns to come up with an actual formula. So one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, what's it going up by each time? Seven. No. One. You're, so you were no. He was going this way. He's got the. <laughs> Final answer, 1 plus 7 is 8, 2 plus 7 is 9, 3 plus 7 is 10. So he's just a little bit ahead of the game. So it's going up by 1 each time. So you know it's going to be 1 in. And then the reason why Colton said 7 is because you have to add 7 onto that to get the uh, numbers that we want. So your final answer is 1 in plus 7. Okay? Uh, all right, and then the last one. We have the same kind of deal. This time, however, the numbers are going up by what? Five, so that tells us our answer is going to be five n. Since they're going up by five each time, we're going to start with five n. I know this is the tricky part. If I have five n, if I plug one into there, five times one is five, but I want my answer to be two. So what do I have to do to get the answer that I want? Yeah, good, Jed, minus three. All right, so final answer is five N minus three. Okay? All right, any questions on that? All right, will you uh, pass those forward then and I will give you your quiz.